Hello and welcome back to Classical Music Spotlight and the music of Joseph Bologna, Chevalier de Saint-Georges, violin virtuoso, composer, and a brilliant swordsman. And if you want to know how all that fits together, stick around. Joseph Bologna, who eventually became Chevalier de Saint-Georges, was born in 1745 in Guadeloupe, the son of a politician and a Senegalese slave. They lived for a while in Haiti, then eventually moved to Paris. At the age of 13, Saint-Georges became a pupil of La Brasière, a master of arms, and in 1766 he fought his very first public fencing match in Paris, and though he lost, his opponent predicted that he would become the finest swordsman in Europe, which he did. We seem to know more about his training as a swordsman than his training as a musician, but he may have studied violin with Jean-Marie Leclerc and composition with François-Joseph Gossic, both in France. Over time, he became more and more known as a composer and violinist, and in 1773 he became musical director and leader of the amateurs, or amateurs, which, under his leadership, quickly won recognition as one of the finest orchestras in France. Over the next decade, in the years leading up to the French Revolution, Saint-Georges composed operas, founded his own orchestra, lost his job when his patron died, went to London and gave exhibition fencing matches, returned to Paris on the eve of the French Revolution, became a captain of the National Guard and formed his own corps of soldiers of color, was eventually relieved of his command and imprisoned for 18 months. His was a life made for the movies and is in fact featured in several movies, most recently the excellent Chevalier, starring Kelvin Harrison Jr. as the sword-wielding composer and violinist. 
From the Chevalier de Saint-Georges, here is a bit of the final movement of his violin concerto in D major. Saint-Georges was not a particularly prolific composer, but this is perhaps not surprising given the extraordinary range of his activities. The majority of his instrumental works were published in Paris between 1772 and 1779 and include string quartets, violin concertos, and symphony concertante. The violin dominates his compositions, which is not at all surprising. It was his instrument, so he wrote music for himself to play and based on the technical difficulty of the solo parts in these concertos, Mr. Saint-Georges must have been a fine, fine violinist. His friend, the actress Louise Fusil, wrote that the expressivity of his performance was his principal merit, and, one can assume with his strikingly handsome appearance, his physical grace and athleticism, his performances must have made quite an impression. Here's a bit of the gentle and expressive slow movement from his violin concerto in A major. The musicians on this album are playing from printed music created by Artaria Editions, a New Zealand-based music publishing house that specializes in rare 18th century repertoire. Artaria Editions was founded in 1995 by New Zealand musicologist Dr. Alan Badley 
and Naxos founder Klaus Heyman. And this small but mighty company has published critical editions of many hundreds of works, including 28 different works by Joseph Bologna Chevalier de Saint-Georges, today's featured composer. So if you'd like to play any of this music, check out the publisher online at artaria.com. That's A-R-T-A-R-I-A dot com. From this latest album of violin concertos, here is the beginning of the violin concerto in B-flat major. The soloist on this album is Japanese violinist Fumika Mori, who in 2012 became the youngest and the very first Japanese winner of the Seoul International Music Competition in Seoul, Korea. Since then, she's performed all over the world. The accompanying ensemble is the Czech Chamber Philharmonic Orchestra Pardubice that was founded in 1969 and as a chamber orchestra it's the perfect size for playing these kinds of pieces. At the helm on this recording is Hungarian-born conductor Mikhail Halas, who over the years has made dozens of recordings for Naxos with music by Beethoven, Liszt, Mozart, Dvorak, Mahler, Schubert, Rossini, Tchaikovsky, and the list goes on. Here they all are with the elegant final movement of the violin concerto in B-flat major.
All of the music in this podcast comes from a new Naxos album featuring four violin concertos by Joseph Bologna, Chevalier de Saint-Georges, who seems to have packed several lifetimes of adventure into his one. The performers on this album are Fumika Mori, violin, and the Czech Chamber Philharmonic Orchestra Pardubice, conducted by Mikhail Halas. Available on disc and on all major digital platforms, Naxos album number 8.574452. That's all for this podcast. Thanks so much for joining me. To go out here is the ending of his violin concerto in A major. I'm Raymond Bechet. So long for now. <laughs>